Well, good day again, everyone. And welcome to my trucking channel. And what I'm going to be discussing today is what do we need to do to keep these terminals clean and active? Here I'm holding in my hand is a Directric Grease. Directric Grease, what it does is keeps it from not rotting, corrosion, and keeps it alive and healthy, the terminals. And here you're looking at the terminals and the batteries greased. As you can see, there is no corrosion. All the terminals are cleaned. And the truck is performing very well. I mean, this is recommended in, recommended to use this. And you can pick it up off the dealer. Or you can search online, Dielectric Grease. And what it, once again, it does, keeps everything running smoothly and keeps all the energy within and out into the engine. From here on is uh, truck performs perfectly well. Right here you're looking at is a brand new starter. The other one was removed. And I can tell you why is that the mechanic shop when they replaced it and it cost a lot of money. But I was kind of not very happy with the fact that the matter is that charge so much money. Then I had the doubt feeling about starter that thought about maybe this starter is not new. It's a remap. So after the installation I went on my way out to work. I experienced a couple of cranks, didn't crank the engine. Click, click, click. And then three clicks became 10 clicks, 10 clicks became 20 clicks, 20 clicks became 30 clicks. It came to a point where that's how long it took to crank the engine. And that worried me a bit. I didn't want to get stuck anywhere in the middle of nowhere. And then, what we need to do is get back and get in touch with the guy. He refused to look at it. After five days of work, I showed up in front of his doorsteps. I opened the door, took my foot out of the truck. A couple of steps down on the ground, I kept walking towards him and I said, I got an issue with your starter. Well, he said, we can't do nothing about it. Come back tomorrow. And I said, why make it tomorrow if you could do it for today? He gave me all his excuses, reasonable reasons, but undoubtedly unreasonable facts for me. But those reasons were fact for him. So, what am I supposed to do? Face the facts, struggle, suffer a little bit more and deal with this problem. And then what? What do we do then? I had to go and get a Delco Remy 39MT 12 volt starter. And I did. I had to make the effort, drive, get out there, buy it, come back, have it installed by another mechanic. This is the uh, previous uh, February month of 2017 starter was placed in my truck by the shop mechanic and you can see how it's rotted right here. Corrosion and rust and it turns out to be that he said to me that this was a, a brand new starter but it turns out to be that this was a reman starter and this is what the reman looks like. We're going to identify between a brand new and a reman actually. Here we go. Here we got the serial number. 
that's all we have it looks like a regular starter but unfortunately this particular one gave me a problem several times almost I got stuck in Ohio now here I have on my right hand corner is a Pelco Rami brand new starter now I'm going to show you I got the gentleman here waiting for me it's not to be that they got it up before I even began video taping so this is Delco also genuine Delco Remy product of Remy and Company. Now this is a brand new one. I'm going to open the box. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, here we got nicely wrapped, and the previous shop owner that put that star didn't have a beautiful black and red and white colors with Delco Manufacturing Company name on the box. So it was just a plain white box. Seems to me that that came from from the. Uh, V-Man. Now here, we can identify between the two, we got the product number right here, it's a 39 MP, number 8200289, and we got a stamp here, and this is what it looks like, a brand new starter, and this is what it looks like, a Reman. I remember the first time when they had this on, 2012, this is what it looked like. So, we're going to have to go back and return that back. We're going to have to put this on. These boys are going to put it on. So let's see how this time it's going to make this truck run. Going back and taking care of the old stuff, unprofessional mechanics. But these boys are going to do a better job because this is a brand new starter. So here we go. We're going to get going. Catch you guys later. It's unbelievable that uh, going through this hassle, it's not worth the price that one man can pay, so actually. This is supposed to be a brand new starter, huh? And this is going back to the guys. And this is going to go back and... Uh, they're going to have to reimburse the $550. That's so how much they charge. And this is a reman. They lied. They lied to me. Because... Uh, something brand new that goes bad so fast like that. It's... Uh, you, can, you can know... And he, look, at, look at this here, there are marks right here. They're scratch marks, letters. I can't make out what it is, but it's a, it's a reman. Now based on, based on uh, the owners uh, sent the people down here because I'm, a, I'm, I'm sitting here right here in the yard because I was unable to start the truck. And um, <laughs> It's, it was uh, a bad feeling, we had to turn down the load, and now uh, we're here to repair this uh, starter. So once these boys are done, I'm going to have to uh, take this back to the guys, and they're going to uh, reimburse the money. Now if they don't reimburse the money, then for the first time ever in my whole life, I'm going to have to take them to the small claims court. Fortunately, that's not the way I go that route, but enough is enough being mulled around. Uh, it's not professional. So, yeah, and I was when I was in Ohio, I also had a situation with the starter. I was unable to start the truck. I had to crank it maybe 20 to 35 times until I hit that engine cranked. So then after that, I never actually turned off the engine, so I let it run in. And I came back to the same guys that the guys installed this transmission, I mean uh, starter, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I made that mistake before, speaking to someone, and um, they turned me away. They didn't want to look at the problem. They said, come back the next day. I said, well, I'm here, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, why don't you guys look at the problem and I knew it was the starter oh you know, they said it's the ground it's this I said hey how many of you guys out there my YouTube friends how many of you guys out there you can know that how well this truck has been taken care of so
let's hope this is going to solve the problem. And that new starter is going to crank the engine and start it up. So they're working on it. So I got to get going. And then I had to go back to the same old mechanic. Take the old starter back. Oh goodness, you had to see all that action. But I'm sorry, I didn't record everything. But, but I can tell you, walked into the shop and I dropped the old starter back and I said, pay my money back. And the man had no choice. There were about six other people were in the room. He paid it back, he refunded everything. But except the labor, he kept the $150. I was not happy again. And before I walked out the shop and I asked him, do you still want me to be your customer? And he said, of course. Don't put this obstacle in front of us. Well, I said, well, it's a truck and you're the shop. If you guys can't do the job, I will look for somewhere else. And I walked out. Friendship? Yeah, I could be friends, but not a customer. So, coming back, when we installed everything else, we did use this grease, dielectric grease, also on all the terminals here. And that's when everything there looks nice and clean and brand new well I've been out for about a week so far I have no issues it cranks like a butterfly until then gentlemen thank you for watching please subscribe share and like and thank you for all the newcomers thanks for joining until then next